Today we eat snacks that are older than our children. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Losing a favorite snack to discontinuation is one of the hardest non-problems you can have. But still, it does hurt. Yeah, and there are some snacks that should definitely be discontinued, like rice cakes, beet chips, and those carrots handed out by that old lady down the street. Oh, I steer clear of that lady. <laughs> but there are other snacks that have been discontinued that should be recontinued because they never should have stopped continuing. Ha! It's time for <laughs> To Be Discontinued Snacks Edition. Each of the snacks we're eating are discontinued. Yes. We're gonna be determining if the snacks are good enough to bring it back or nah, that's whack. Some of this stuff uh, that we're about to try expired years ago, mm. so we do not recommend doing this at home, but if you do, we recommend having a very clear path to the toilet. Okay. Let's try that first one. Um, you know that boy Chester Cheetah, he's always coming up with something new. <laughs> yeah, he is. And for a limited time back in 2015, he was carrying around a big old cinnamon stick which he used to coat Cheetos Sweetos. You remember these? Nope. Do you remember 2015? Nope, <laughs> not a bit. Uh, we paid 20 bucks for this on eBay. They were only available for that year. It says on the front right here, it says, guaranteed fresh until printed date. And then it says January 3rd. Oh, well January 3rd comes around every year. Yeah, so so maybe, uh, most maybe recently it's- 2021. Maybe it's still good. Maybe it's still good. Let's, let's Is it still good? We still good? Now every discontinued snack or very long expired snack has a certain flavor that wafts from it. I guess that immediately that would be gives me a scent. headache. It's got it. It's got it, but it's slight. Oh, it's that. Uh, what? What is that? Is that just the? Is that just the smell of rot? It's like a thrift smell. I thought they were going to be smaller. I don't know why. When I looked at this bag. I thought they were gonna be like Cheerio sized. Uh, this was the so first. So I'm already happy. This is the first sweet Cheeto snack. I don't know, have there been some since then? Uh, if this sucks, probably not. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little, oh okay, yeah. Isn't Rhett, this how you eat them? Rhett, would you taste a discontinued snack with me? That's my right hand, tricked you. I'm already with someone. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do like the fact that you can put them on your fingers like rings. Hold on, it, just try to get through the rot that set in. You know when you eat something, you're like, you know what, ignore the rot and try to enjoy it. You know, you love it when your friends tell you that. The, the, oh, I like it, the approach, they give it, they've done the same thing that they do with Cheetos, which is to dust them. There's a buttery inner to it. Buttery, sugary, cinnamony. Mm. Yeah, so if you get past oh, the rot, know. these are, these are I good. Think, but I can imagine these being good, but I have a fundamental issue with them. Okay. And that is Chester himself. You think of ti a tiger, he's got this, he can bite you at any time, he can yeah. turn on you at any time, he's a, he's a wild animal, he he's can't a, be tamed. He's not sweet. You could just call him a tiger, he's a cheetah, man. Cheetah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. A I, spotted tiger that you, know, you can't he's trust. He's a cheetah. Uh, and so I'm just saying, he's this like cat that can attack you at any time. He's a savory creature and I think he just looks, well that's perfect. It feels out of place to have him trying to be sweet. I feel like he's trying to take advantage of my weakness. I like the idea of these, but for some reason, the fact that it's, it's uh, you know, paired with the Cheetos brand doesn't work for me personally. I feel like it's a little bit sacrilegious. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, so even though it could be enjoyed, there's a branding issue. So we're saying, nah, nah that's, that's whack. whack. Hey, a new two-man vlog dropped Saturday on the Rhett and Link channel, and those two men are us, so we wanna remind you, we're vlogging every Saturday, so subscribe, click that bell, watch us out and about in our lives, filming each other. Yes, thank you. Okay, next up we have Mountain Dew Pitch Black 2, which was released just in time for Halloween in 2005. Okay, this expired, or was discontinued in 2005. It was a reprisal of uh, Pitch Black, it's a sequel to Pitch Black. Yeah, which, it, sa it says limited edition right on it, so right from the beginning, they knew they weren't this thing wasn't gonna well, last. Well, hold on, I don't remember, and I have never heard of Pitch Black, the first one. It still exists. And then they brought a second one. It's a grape soda, and then this is the same grape soda with a sour bite. So let's open this. But if nobody cares about the first time around, why do it again? That's like Daddy's Home 2. I didn't see that. Exactly. I didn't Did see you see it. Daddy's Home? Home? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, exactly. That's not a good name for a movie. Daddy's Home Home. 
Now, did you say this was $20 on eBay? I said it was $20 on eBay, now I did. Okay. Now, liquids don't have the same rot factor that's, that solids, bagged solids do. Now, I'm not gonna down the whole can. With a though. twist of sour, why not? I bet you, I'll give you $10 if you down the whole can. Mm -mm. Now, if you look at the color of this stuff, it's not black. I like sour things. Look at, look at the color of it. Now that's an exciting color. Why you gotta go, why you gotta say it's black? Nothing black about it. Maybe it was black in two thousand and five. It doesn't make sense for some to name something that has a flavor after the color, not the flavor. So that's just well, pitch green doesn't make any sense. Well, that's true. I kind of like this. I think I might watch Daddy's Home too now. I think I'm just I'm gonna start with Daddy's Home too. It's um. Can you just start with that? Do you have to go back to the original one? You don't know. You haven't seen it. Who's seen Daddy's Home? When you, it's got Mel Gibson's in the second okay, one. Okay, Zach. Should I just can I start with two? Oh sure. Oh sure. He <laughs> says he said I could. He said I oh start sure. With two. Uh, I don't like this. The sour part makes it taste too much like candy. I like the sour part. Well, it you know it's got that Red Bull candyish type vibe going on. But I'm, I just I'm not a fan. I don't drink this kinds of drinks anymore. You know, what? I try to stay are away you, from the Are you recusing yourself? <laughs> so I feel like, I, as much as I like the taste of it, I feel like I could get in trouble if I had like a 12 pack of these. Me at home alone with the 12 pack of Pitch Black 2. So I don't like it. <laughs> Watching and then, Daddy's Home 3. In order to protect Rep from himself, we are saying for this one, nah, nah that's, that's whack. whack. Ever wonder what a 25 year old bag of hard candies tastes like? <laughs> yeah. Me neither. But <laughs> we're about to try these Hershey's taste stations for 1995 to find out. Is this a stupid idea? 1995, well it's hard candy. Hard, hard stuff can't rot. All these years it's still new and this is a trial pack. So this is the oldest, yeah. probably the oldest version of taste stations when they're just trying to get people to try it without buying. Yeah, we got butterscotch, we got caramel, we got chocolate and we got peppermint and they're, pre, they're double wrapped. So you know it's still good. It um, was wrapped and then it was wrapped again. I don't like butterscotch. What's this? Peppermint? Peppermint. Try the chocolate. I'm just gonna try the chocolate. I'll try the caramel. Um, that looks a little mm. a little, a little messed up, y'all. Yeah. Smell that. The rock got through the double wrapping. Mm. Mm, mm. Tastes good. Now hard candies caramel are typically Caramel tastes for, like trash. For old people. That's old horrible. people who just wanna give kids candy, like put candy in jars and stuff. Uh, Ben said that when he was in high school, they were. Th this was like a form of currency. People were trading this stuff. I remember these. He went to high school in prison. That's what, that's what I think. Um, Butterscotch is better. It looks good. I think you might have gotten the best flavor. Is there another thing that still exists now that would compel us to say, oh, I'll just get the chocolate Werther's. I don't, we don't need to bring this back. Isn't there a hard chocolate thing you can suck on in the world right now? Like a Tootsie Roll is too soft. But a Tootsie Roll is just right. I think this needs to come back. I like the name. Because we can't off the top of our head think of anything hard and chocolate to suck on besides a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> we're saying, bring, bring it back. back. Okay, the next snack we're trying is Simpsons themed popcorn from Israel. Uh, this stuff was sold in 1991, which means it's 29 years old, which is only a couple of years less than how long the Simpsons have been on the air. Yeah, uh, that was 1989. So uh, we paid $25 for Whoa, this on blowing our budget. Guys, listen, you gotta run this stuff by us. Hold your horses. Now, look at that. It, so this never made it to America. It did now, brother. Man, this, this can't be great. All right, let's open I this I like up. interesting popcorns. That's one of the things I'm into. Did, didn't Bert Simpson say, eat my shorts? Yep. Th they should have shorts that you eat. And that should be something. They probably did, it was probably a cereal, short cereal. Oh. Has it got the smell? Has it got the smell of? It's got that oh, thrift wow. smell. Wow, I don't even Ooh. have to get close to it. Oh, it's bad. I mean, it. whoa, it is so strong. It's, it instantly gives you a headache. There is something that happens. I feel like, I think scientists should study this. I mean, there, yeah, is, a, yeah. there is a specific smell that comes from things that are rotting. <laughs> and there needs to be more science around that. Gosh! I, I Things mean, that I, have like preservative, I'm not gonna eat that. I touched it gonna too much. Me, it's gonna give me a headache. Ba basically, this is just. It's just popcorn. It's just popcorn. Do we need Simpsons themed popcorn is the question that I'd, we're asking. There's there's nothing that's making me excited. You'd rather eat your shorts. I'd rather eat shorts. All right, so we're saying, nah, mm, that's, that's whack. whack. This little bag of peanuts that we're about to eat 
could be 72 years old. <laughs> I, hope I mean, is. they're at least 32 years old. They could be 72 years old. Um, it comes from a discontinued airline, PSA, that's Pacific Southwest Airlines, which operated out of San Diego between 1948 and 1988, mm. which brings us to the 32 to 72 years old. Um, we paid $28 and eight cents oh, wow. on eBay for these. So these are a hot commodity on eBay. Um, you Made wanna... by the Pacific Nut Company. I'm gonna open Chino, this. California. Should Look, we open both of them? No, leave those closed because what I've just discovered is that ain't the typical color of a peanut. Well, hold on, have you ever yeah. seen a peanut from the past? I mean, it's so brown, I gotta take it off the brown desk and put it on a paper towel. What if peanuts have just undergone slight evolution and and they've been changing color for the last 72 years and no one's really thought about it because it's happened so slowly. And if you were to look at pictures of peanuts from 1942, 48, you'd be like, you know what? They were real brown back in the day until agricultural mono, monoculture and big agricultural farm, monoculture. big farm. Um, Brett. I want you to go where no man has gone before and eat a 72 year old peanut first. You be like Armstrong stepping his foot down, say, saying a slogan. 72 year old nuts. Isn't there like a grinder for old people? Like one big enough to put old people in? <laughs> it's called a wood chipper. Um, <laughs> Why are you sniffing it so intently? It's horrible smell. You know what? I'm starting to I'm starting to like it. Oh, you're starting to get into it? I feel like what happened was is that it things, Evolution, things, I heard no, you. No, no, not it's different. Things get bad and then they start getting good again. <laughs> like because the show. I believe <laughs> like maybe these have been replaced with another thing like petrified wood isn't really wood. It's the minerals that replaced it just like a fossil. I'm with so you. So maybe this has been replaced by something. Here's the And the only way to find out is to put the nut in your mouth. Now before you put the nut in your mouth, they're moist, dude. That's disturbing to me. Oh, they're wow. not Spongy. dry. They're not dry. After all these years. There's some gift to it. It's like a little piece of rubber. Yeah, they've absorbed stuff. Rubber. Uh. You gonna I mean, bite it? Think about how what were regulations like in in, in they didn't have in, in those days. Yeah, they didn't have them. A PSA uh, flight probably crashed like every three they were, or four days. They were smoking on planes, just everywhere. Everybody just smoking. It just probably this is probably just nothing but nicotine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dink it. It'd be like a patch. Put it under your arm and sink it. I mean, it's chewy. There's no crunch. <laughs> There's no crunch at all. I mean, no pop. It made absolutely no noise. There's an acrid. And now it's just sort of sticking to my lips. It's 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 so sour. It's like eating. Somebody peed in the, in this. The pilot. That the, explains. The pilot it. peed nicotine. Our pilots pee nicotine in every pouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wow, okay. But you know what? Did we really have, hold on. Look, you I, really I, have I, to answer the question yeah. whether or not we should bring back peanuts on planes? Yeah, I, I, just, I think we need let's, more peanuts on planes. Let's just recenter. Like, I know. We ate 72 year old peanuts For, just to determine if something that already happens on every plane should continue to happen on every plane. Yeah, we, they really pulled one over on us this time. But we got the clicks. <laughs> and we are saying, no. Bring it back! Yeah, bring it back because it's just peanuts on planes. They, they, they're not gone, <laughs> Rhett. They're not gone. But if they ever do go away, they should be brought back. Okay, I, I'm with that. If peanuts ever go away from planes, they should be brought back, so. Bring, bring it, it back. back! Okay, so in summary, we're saying Hershey's, Taste Stations, and peanuts on planes, <laughs> in general, should definitely be a thing. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Ding! You know dong. what time it is. Hi, I'm Cadence from Hutchins in Minnesota. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, little magic. Was that real magic or fake magic? Real magic. Click the top link to watch us cook 13 year old craft mac and cheese at Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land, Leslie Tyler. We're going together, but she's apparently 
really has feelings for Tyler. And I was like, you idiot, that's her full name. Leslie Tyler is her name. 